In this video, we're going to look at setting up a photometrics camera inside Metamorph. The first step is to download and install the PV Cam drivers from the Photometrics website. So here we are on the Photometrics website, and we want to go to Support, Software, Drivers and Downloads. And this will take us straight to the page to download PV Cam. First of all, we confirm which camera we're using. In our case, that's a Prime. Then we select our operating system, which is for us Windows 10 64-bit. And now we have a link to download PV Cam with the most up-to-date version. You can then install this like you would any other software. Now we'll look at how to install the cameras into Metamorph. So to start with, we're going to load up your Metamorph folder and then we'll want to click on the Meta Imaging Series Administrator, it's the Administrator tool. So we're going to be configuring regular Metamorph, so we choose Configure Hardware. So there are two main options here. The first one is Install System Devices, and this is what you want to select to set up the rest of your microscope or the rest of your setup. But for our cameras, we want Configure Acquisition. And here we have a list of your available drivers that are installed. So we want to select Photometrics and click Add. So to briefly cover the configuration of the cameras, here we can see a list of the cameras that you have active and currently plugged in and turned on and here we have one USB camera plugged in. The first setting is the sensor mode and depending on what type of camera you have that you'll either have to change this or won't. Currently we're using a prime camera which is a CMOS sensor for which we use the standard normal mode. If you're using an EMCCD camera you'll want frame transfer FT. The next important setting to change is the temperature. Metamorph doesn't actually know by default what temperature to set the camera to, and for the Prime you can read this in the datasheet of the camera, and we want minus 10 degrees. Finally, stream acquisition internal frame buffer size. This is what determines how much RAM to give over to the streaming function of the camera. Typically you'd want to give over about half the RAM of your computer to this to get really smooth acquisition. Another setting you might occasionally want to change is on the Special tab, and this is if you have mirrors in your optical path, your image might be flipped compared to how it should be. So here is where you can specify to flip your camera vertically or horizontally. So click OK, and now we're basically done setting up the camera. So now we'll load up Metamorph, and I'll just run you through a couple of the settings that you always should change when you've started up the cameras. So if we go to the Acquisition Settings, you want to make sure you're using auto scale mode for your histogram. And on the special tab, by default, our prime enhance noise reduction algorithm will always be activated when you load Metamorph, but you won't necessarily always want to use that. So when you first load up the camera, go to the special tab and deactivate noise filter. The final setting is you just need to make sure that in the prime tab, enable despeckle filter is checked. This helps deal with any particularly high or low pixels that might skew your histogram. So let's have a look at our live view. Here we have our Ginkgo Biloba sample slide. Thank you for watching and if you have any questions don't hesitate to contact Photometrics.